The pilots who fly aerobatics are a unique set of individuals. This type of flying makes demands on a person experienced nowhere else. Lightning quick reflexes, extraordinary equilibrium, coordination, and athletic endurance are the minimum requirements for the would-be aerobatic pilot. An incredible measure of self-confidence is also needed because the slightest miscalculation can be instantly fatal. We've assembled some of the finest performances in the air show business, so sit back and enjoy the aerial ballet of these amazing flyers in their dance with death. Leading off our showcase is three times U.S. National Aerobatics Champion Gene Soucy. At the age of 20, Gene earned a berth on the 1970 U.S. Aerobatics team. In the 1970 World Championships in England, Gene was the youngest competitor flying. Finishing strongly, he helped the United States team win its first World Championship. Since that very auspicious beginning, Gene has gone on to gather an impressive competition record. Among his many honors are the U.S. National Aerobatic Championships three consecutive years, the first pilot to ever accomplish such a feat, three-time Canadian national champion, and a member of two victorious World Aerobatic teams. He is the current Hilton Masters of Aerobatic Champion and is the holder of many regional championships. In 1988, Gene began developing the act you see here, the Showcat. He extensively modified a Grumman Agcat, a biplane normally used in crop spraying. The new Showcat is fully aerobatic and is equipped with a five-point smoke system for visual effect. In the tradition of the old barnstormers, Gene has brought back the crowd-pleasing woman wing-walking act, featuring the beautiful Teresa Stokes of Houston, Texas. Teresa, dressed in the classic showbiz tuxedo, climbs to the top wing of the show cat on takeoff and then rides through a series of low-level loops, rolls, and cubanates. Teresa, who is herself an accomplished pilot, is one of the world's most recognized aviation artists. She's a member of the Guild of Aviation Artists and has a growing series of limited edition aviation and space prints. Teresa also designed the paint scheme and painted all the artwork on Jean Susie's show cap. Teresa feels that wing walking enhances her artwork. She says, it's physically like flying aerobatics without an airplane and visually the most exciting view I've ever had flying. As a seascape artist must experience the sea, an aviation artist must experience the sky and what an experience. Our second showcase performer is the man known in Dallas, Texas as Mr. Aviation, Jan Calmer. Jan began his career in aviation as a U.S. Navy fighter pilot and flew the supersonic F-8 Crusader. Currently, he's a colonel in the Confederate Air Force, a member of the International Aerobatic Club, 
the International Council of Air Shows, the Association of Naval Aviation, and the Navy League. For several years, Jan chaired the Dallas Chamber of Commerce Aviation Committee, doing such an outstanding job, he now has been appointed chairman of the board of the Greater Dallas Chamber. He's also on the board of directors of DFW International Airport, one of the nation's largest and busiest. A man of incredible energy, Jan Calmer has managed to build a multi-million dollar electronics company in one of the most competitive markets in the world. His love of aviation is obvious to anyone who spends any length of time with him. He has said, the very best things in my life have been associated with flying.
We're going to take a break in the aerobatic action because we seem to be having a small problem clearing the runway. It seems there's been a fellow around here all day making a nuisance of himself trying to get an airplane ride, and quite frankly, we're afraid he might have had a little too much to drink. Now they seem to have gotten the tailwheel stuck and the pilot is trying to free it, but his inebriated passenger is at the control. from the marshers wave that guy off get him stopped or something now okay now catch him he's come back by i oh, see i ran over that, you <laughs> i saw that old boy drink six or seven beers and i bet he had 20 well, before I that that kind of stuff oh, don't look out he's chasing Watch him it. now uh-oh what's it uh oh he's got the tail up on you the got table. it hammers get out of the way ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen you don't do that no you're seeing a drunk Flying an airplane. I can't believe this. We ought to get, did we get the, get the security out there to chase him down? I don't he know. He said, you know, he told me when he was up here pestering us a while ago that he was a pilot, but I don't believe it. We didn't believe it then, I don't believe it now. We got the medical equipment standing by down there. I got a suggestion. Where's Randy? Let's get him up there and shoot him down. Well, we don't want to hurt that cub, though. Well, okay, that's he's, true. He's coming back Look around out. now. Good grief, he disappeared. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, oh! Now. Oh! All right, easy now. Pull back easy. on the stick. Get back. Relax. Oh. Pull back. Now back on the throttle. The back on the throttle. Back on the throttle now. No, not the stick, you dummy. The throttle. Now, come on. Get the straight. Get it straight. Ooh. My goodness. Watch it. Now, get the nose back down. Back down. Back. Come on. Come on. Get the nose down. Get the wings level. Okay, okay. now. Pull it around. Easy does it. Now, there's Easy a runway right in front of you. That's a forgiving airplane, but it's I know not that it'll, forgiving. it'll forgive that old drunk. Look up. Okay, now, back now, on the throttle. throttle. Not the stick, the throttle. Hey, keep pulling the throttle at the wrong time. We have a, we're trying now, to run. Now, give it the throttle now. We're trying to run a national air race. We've got a drunk flying around in a J3 Cub. Come on now. Look at it. Now, watch out. Is there some grass out there that he could land on? I don't know, but there's a lot of trees out there, and those there's are airplane trees. trees out there. Okay, now this now. time, this time he's going to do it. Now, come on, come on. easy, easy, easy. easy. Now you got one. On, now get the other wheel down. Come on, you got one. Now the other. Now get them all free. Okay, come now. On. Now get the tail down. There you go. Go back on the throttle. Oh man, that was close, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we really don't need. Now somebody like go out there and out get that guy out of that airplane. airplane. Well, I'm sure you've already guessed the gentleman who's been flying the Piper Cub is no drunk. He's Charlie Jerick, an aerobatic instructor pilot from Dallas with over 30 years of experience and puts on one of the best comedy air show acts around. Generating excitement in an air show performance requires these vital ingredients power, speed, and precision flying. Leo Laudenschlager in his Laser 200 brings all these elements to bear as he dazzles crowds all across the country. Leo has become synonymous with excellence in the aerobatic arena. His seven national aerobatic championships, won in an eight-year span, far surpasses all other competitors, and he's the only pilot to have been crowned champion for four consecutive years. He's also won the World Aerobatics Championship, and he's won seven gold and three silver medals in the four Olympic-style international aerobatic contests he's entered. The Laser 200 Leo Flies was designed by him for aerobatic competition. It began its life in 1971 as a Stephen Acro, and Leo put it through a long and extensive modification program. When it was completed, less than 5% of the original design was still intact. It is powered by a 220-horsepower Lycoming engine, and has a top cruising speed of 230 miles an hour. It's 20 feet long with a wingspan of 24 feet 5 inches and weighs 850 pounds. It is heavily stressed and can withstand a force of more than 9 positive Gs.
I'm Leo Loudenslager, and behind me is the Bud Light 200. This aircraft and myself have competed in world championships in the Kiev USSR, Czeska Buvets, Czechoslovakia, Spitzberg, Austria, and Oshkosh, Wisconsin. The performance today is known as one of the fastest, if not the fastest, single solo performances in the world. Most experts and myself included uh, feel that this airplane is the most agile. Of course, I worked very hard to take advantage of that agility to keep not more than two seconds between every maneuver in front of an air show audience. This aircraft started in life as a Stevens Acro, but uh, the Stevens Acro had many uh, problems, uh, stability problems and structural problems, so through years and years of modification, I've improved the airplane to the point that uh, we now no longer call it the Stevens Acro. Some of these improvements have been in structural in the front end, strengthening in the front end, strengthening of the main wing spar, an airfoil change of my own design, a tail change of my own design. So today, only 5% of the original aircraft remains. Watching Leo fly, it's easy to understand why he's been dubbed the heart stopper. On the left, ladies and gentlemen, comes Jimmy Franklin in the 600 horsepower Waco Jolly Roger right through show center now. He comes barreling through there with 600 horses in the front of that, pulls the stick back in his lap, calls on the power of that engine to carry that aircraft into the air with a full vertical roll on the way up at the top, pulling the stick back in his lap, coming over the top and following that column of smoke right back to the ground with a snap roll on the way down, cleaning it up and going out to the far right-hand side. Jimmy Franklin from Rio Doso, New Mexico. He takes one last look at the runway. Two men out on the runway holding a ribbon. The ribbon will be blown by the wind, will be approximately four feet above the ground. Jimmy Franklin will come in from the far left-hand side. At 185 miles an hour, he'll roll that aircraft to the inverted position. From the inverted position, he will allow the tail to sink to within four feet of the ground and snag that ribbon on his tail as he goes through show center. From the left comes Jimmy Franklin now down over the threshold. Just a few feet above the runway, pulls the nose up, he rolls it to the inverted position. Starts to follow that white line down the center of the runway. Following that white line, he allows the tail to start sinking to the runway. It's 10 feet above now now down to seven now six now five now four and the ribbon right on the tail of that airplane the world's lowest ribbon pickup And now, at show center, high up in the blue skies over Addison, Texas, is Jimmy Franklin in this magnificent piece of flying equipment, the Waco Jolly Roger. The aircraft, so redesigned from its original configuration, originally a 105-mile-an-hour sport biplane, now with 
speeds in excess of 200 miles an hour. Snap roll number four. Straightening it out now. Diving it down. Diving it down right at Addison, Texas. Coming down through 200 miles an hour. He pulls the airplane vertically. Watch for the Lumshabach. Does a snap roll. And now the Lumshabach. Nose for tail. Tail for nose. Upside down and out of control. Out of control indeed with a flat inverted spin now. A maneuver that's carried many pilots and their planes all the way to the ground. The flat inverted spin. A dangerous maneuver. A strenuous maneuver on pilot and plane. Okay, straightening it out now with a two-turn, three-turn snap roll to the right. Comes down right over show center. And listen to that engine growl away. Jimmy Franklin leads his signature in the skies over Addison, Texas. Rounding out our showcase of top aerobatic pilots is probably the biggest name in the air show business, Jim Franklin. Jim is Hollywood's premier stunt pilot, as well as being the quintessential air show performer. Adding excitement to Jim's performance is the enthusiastic voice of stuntman and wing walker Johnny Kazian. Watch this landing, ladies and gentlemen. And now, over to threshold, Jimmy Franklin brings that beautiful Waco Jolly Roger down on the runway, but I want you to watch closely. This man has never done flying this airplane until he shuts it off, ladies and gentlemen, with the tail high in the air, flying it on the slipstream of the propeller. Watch what he does with this aircraft. Still precariously balanced on the front gear only, a complete standstill. And now, he'll let the tail come down. And now, he'll bring the tail back up again. And Jimmy Franklin says thank you for inviting us to Addison. We love coming here. You're a great audience. This is Ray Norton, and on behalf of the aerobatic performers, I want to thank you for joining us today. Be with us again soon as we take you on another adventure in the wonderful world of flying.